I started playing video games obsessively, like 12 hours a day for a couple of years. I got addicted to a game called World of Warcraft. And uh, in between, I acted a couple days a month, but when I went home, I would play video games all day. When I first got to Hollywood, I didn't really know everything uh, that was going on. It took a couple years to get on my feet. And the biggest role I got that sort of lifted me up was uh, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And after that, I went on to work more uh, and more, but not enough to really keep me as busy as I would like. So about two years into my World of Warcraft addiction, I decided I might have a problem. <laughs> Guys, 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 what are you doing here? So I sat down and I wanted to write a comedy about people who I gamed with. And that's where it all started. I present to you Felicia Day, the owner of this channel, the forger of this show. It was 2007 and YouTube had just started. Um, people didn't know what Twitter was. Facebook was barely anything. My production partner, who was a friend of mine, uh, read the script and said we should make this online. We could film it ourselves and just the first part of it and maybe put it on the internet to show it to gamers who, because gamers are online. So that's what we did. And we put a PayPal button up on our website not thinking anyone would donate. And surprisingly, within um, I think three weeks, we had enough to shoot more of the script. Just seeing that we had an audience who wanted to, wanted to see these stories continue and they were willing to help us make it. I think women have a much stronger voice in the digital space because the stakes were incredibly low. There was no bar to entry. There was nobody telling you know, women, no, you can't pick up a camera and shoot in your house. Here, I get to be everything I want to be, a producer, an actor, a writer, a, a, an entrepreneur. Um, if I, you know, going and, and following some of the other opportunities I've been uh, offered over the years, I would have had to choose one of those things. Maybe I won't be the biggest entertainment mogul of the digital space ever, but I could be somebody that someone 20 years younger than me grows up with and says, hey, that girl did that or that woman did that. I could do that. That's a possibility and becomes, you know, the Rupert Murdoch of the digital world or in the next Nora Ephron or Steven Spielberg.